Hey everyone, Fangeron from the Digimon Cloud community here with another video. Um, this time I'm talking about bootleg items. Um, and before I get started, I want to shout out to Roni's Video Game Collectibles. They've been talking about bootleg items. Um, in general, I know Digimon is kind of old, but if you haven't been on the internet lately, Digimon Try is going to be coming out, which is the, um, I guess, third part of the series of Digimon Adventure. So go Google, search that if you haven't heard about it. Um, so I don't know if these are going to start popping up again, and with it, bootlegs, but I'm just going to feature these two. Um, now before I get started, Greymon, um, it's a beanie plush. This is the original version, as far as I know. Um, this one was only released in Japan. And you can kind of hear it. He's got little plastic pellets in his feet, in his hands, and arms, and in his body. He's got stripes on the front. And you can see he's got the shiny plastic eyes, and his horns have the little detail on there. Um, now on the bootleg one, this one's the bootleg one, uh, it's actually kind of hard to see because the lighting in here is kind of crappy, but um, this Greymon is actually a slightly different shade of orange. Um, I don't know if you'd really be able to tell from, from uh, unless you had them side by side knowing that they're a bootleg. And the claws are a little bit different. Um, I'll stick these guys together here. And as you can see, the, the tag on the fake one is on his hand, attached by a piece of um, plastic attacher here. Um, let's see if I can focus on it. The colors are a little bit faded. I don't know if you can really uh, tell. But the colors are faded, and it's smaller than the official tag. I'll just scoot Greymon over here. So here's the original one. And here's the copy, if I can stick them together here, and let's see, it's obviously smaller, and then on the inside, it's got the same text, come on, Greymon, it's got the same text on both, um, but I want to note on the back of this one, Let's ignore the price tag, because I definitely did not pay that. I paid a lot more. Um, but we also have this little gold sticker here, um, which is uh, included on official merchandise that's made by Toei, if it would focus now. It's on the back of this one, but it's obviously not on the back of this one, because it's fake. Um, and it does have the same text on the inside. However, it's attached differently. It's attached with string on his tail to a fabric tag, which does say um, Greymon number 11 on it, and uh, Bandai 2000 made in China. Now, this Greymon has no tag on his tail, absolutely nothing, and also, I'm, sure you can, I'm squeezing him, I'm smacking him around, he has no plastic beans in him, which is kind of weird considering they made a bootleg of the beanie plush. He's also got a keychain on his head, that should be a dead giveaway. These don't have keychains in them. Um, I've seen a lot of bootleg plush that look a little more derp, I guess you could say. Um, and they just are, they all have keychains on them, I don't know why. And you can see the claws. The claws are actually made out of felt. It's one layer of felt. Um, but on the original it's actually two layers of the same fabric that the rest of his body's made of. And you can kind of see here it's peeling a little bit because it's, uh, it's old. But... Um, and the claws are more defined. This is just one piece of felt. And they do both have the same stripes on them, the front and the back. And he does have the markings on his horns as well. You can see the marking, the stripes on the front and the stripes on the back. They're a little choppy because age happens. Um, but he's pretty decent condition for how old he is. Now these, it's just kind of a paint, I guess. But, um, yeah, and he's a little understuffed, so he can kind of kind of sit if you squish him around a little bit. Um, this one's actually stuffed um, quite a bit, so he kind of stands on his own. If I can kind of, there we go. But this one... He just kind of flips over. Um, if I can get focus, focus. There we go. Um, 
And I noticed the teeth are a little bit different as well. I'm gonna get both of these guys here. You can see the teeth on. The original one are sharp, and these ones are. They're kind of not not the same. A lot of these details you wouldn't know unless you had both of them side by side like this. Um, this is probably the best looking bootleg I've seen um, because a lot of them just look like they were made from. Um, they were not based on any official plush, so they're really just retarded looking. I'm sorry, I don't know how else to um, describe it, but they're really um, lacking in a body shape and they look really square. If I do find a picture of one, I'll probably have to link it in the description. Um, but yeah, they're really awful looking. This is probably the best looking one. And I found in lots of conventions now, they're charging more and more for the same crappy plush. Like, I think this one might have been 15 bucks, which, okay, that's that's kind of okay considering how rare this one is, and I definitely did not pay $15 for that, let me tell you guys. Um, but with the other ones that are just, like, retarded looking, I feel sorry for you if you wanted to actually pay $15 or $20 or whatever they're charging out for them, and they're just awful. Um, Keychain plush. Uh, again, if I can find a picture of them, I will link them. There hasn't been too much new official merchandise um, coming out lately. Even with Try, I've seen a lot of um, plastic keychains and rubber keychains and, and metal um, things um, that you hang from your phone, you know, that kind of stuff. But no plushies yet, so hopefully Bandai will pick up their game and um, hopefully we will not be seeing anything like this because bootlegs are bad. Um, and before I end this video, I know I had a shout out to Ronies at the start, but um, I will stick a link to them um, here at the bottom or wherever it ends up being when I upload this video. Um, check them out. They're located in Canada. They do have official plush, um, Digimon plush that are actually prize plush. They're not officially for sale, um, but they're straight from uh, Ben Presto. Um, they deal with a lot of anime plush, um, Digimon, Pokemon and uh, other good stuff, so check them out. Uh, I do believe they have the... Uh, it's a Patamon plush from uh, the Ben Presto prize, um, the Crane Game prize. And they will be receiving them next year, from what I've heard. Um, even though they'll be in Crane Games in Japan probably later this year, um, I just believe it's a delay from uh, coming from Japan to outside of Japan, uh, into Canada, and probably because Japan has them as um, prize plush for us, they're not actually for retail sale, so that's probably why there's probably some kind of legal blah 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 involved in that, but um, if you made it through this whole video, thanks for watching and hope this helped you out. Bye.